as you know, the Derby is coming up very quickly and I wanted to share some easy drink recipes to help you celebrate the Derby this weekend. I wanted to do something that was kind of a twist on the classic mint julep because obviously that is like the most popular drink for the Kentucky Derby every year. So I wanted to kind of stick to that tradition, but just switch it up a tiny bit. So I'm going to be making two recipes today. As you know, I love champagne and anything bubbly. So one of them is a sparkling mint julep, which sounds amazing. And the other is a blueberry honey mint julep. What's really nice about these two recipes is that they're easy. They don't take that long to make. The ingredients are really simple, so it's quick to make, especially if you're hosting a derby party. So let's get started. <clears throat> so first for the blue, so first for the blueberry honey mint julep, you're gonna need bourbon, and I'm using bullet bourbon today. You're gonna need some simple syrup, and this is basically just a half a cup of sugar and half a cup of water. And you put this on the stove um, at medium heat and just wait for all the sugar to dissolve and then let it cool down and that's how you make simple syrup. Like it, the title says, it's very simple. And then you're gonna make a puree out of a pint of blueberries, two tablespoons of honey, and then the juice of half of a lemon. Then we're using mint leaves and I bought fresh mint just because I like mint and I think having the fresh mint is a lot better and you'll also be using this as a garnish for your drink. So I made my puree um, not on video, but basically you put the honey, the lemon juice, and the blueberries all together in a blender or a food processor. I used a blender um, and just blend it. It only takes like 30 seconds and you'll have your puree. So first um, I'm gonna take my cocktail shaker and you're gonna put in equal parts puree and whiskey. So once you have your whiskey and puree together, then you add the simple syrup. And if you're making a bigger batch, you can put in like two shots of simple syrup and that'll sweeten it up a little bit. So make sure your lid is on really tightly and then we are going to shake this up. So now that I have the simple syrup, the puree and whiskey all shaken together, I'm just gonna grab a cup of ice and then pour this over. So I'm gonna add this straw from Hobby Lobby because it's the perfect little spring straw. I'm obsessed with it. I bought like three packs of it at Hobby Lobby. And then just finish it off with a few little mint leaves just as a garnish. You can also add some mint leaves to your shaker when you're shaking everything together or when you're cooking the simple syrup. If you like things mintier, I highly recommend adding some more mint just to get all that flavor out of the drink. This is the sparkling mint julep recipe and I'm so excited about this one, obviously because of this little guy. But for the sparkling mint julep recipe, what you need is um, bourbon and I'm using the same bourbon again. You need Prosecco or something sparkling. Um, I really just like the taste of Prosecco and I think it's a good sparkling wine to go with this drink. You need mint leaves, simple syrup. I'm using some extra from the last recipe, champagne flute, and then I'm gonna use a glass and just a spoon to muddle everything. I don't have a muddler, I need to get one but you can also just use a spoon if you don't have a muddler. So what you wanna do first is um, put your ingredients into a cup or something to muddle. So I'm gonna be putting my mint together. Next, you'll want about two teaspoons full of simple syrup, and I'm just gonna use the rest of mine. And then depending on how much um, alcohol or whiskey that you like, 
you can put in as much as possible. Um, 